So I'm going to show you how to use NZ Grapher. Now you will want to go to the data file and paste the table of values that you want. Now I've already done this because sometimes it takes a little bit of time. Now the data I'm using is actually taken from the Kiwi data that's already preloaded in NZ Grapher. So you can have a play around with this yourself if you just select that Kiwi data there. Um, but obviously when you're doing this for yourself, you're going to be given a data set and you need to be able to paste it into um, NZ Grapher. So we've got this loaded up. We want to be able to do a bootstrap distribution to be able to do formal inferences. So we go for our graph type and we've got three options here for bootstrap. We can either do it on a single variable. So we could just look at a bootstrap distribution to figure out where the median weight um, of these Kiwi birds is going to be. Most of the time we want to look at the difference between medians. So we select that bootstrap confidence interval for medians, and we are going to compare the median weight of these kiwi birds between our two groups of gender, male and female. Once that's loaded up, before you start doing anything with it, just stack the dots down here in the, these options down here. It makes it look a little bit tidier, but easier to see what's going on. So. This is now showing us a confidence interval of the difference between the medians when this bootstrap distribution has been created. What's happened here is that this bootstrap is done by resampling our male and female sample a thousand times over. Each time the median is calculated for the males and the median calculated for the females and then the difference of those worked out. That difference is plotted down here and it tells us that it's done the females minus the, median, the males. So each time it's done worked out the female median for the new sample minus the male, male median for the new sample, and then subtracted that answer, that plotted that answer onto the bootstrap distribution down here. This then gives us a 95% confidence interval, that's the blue bar just here, to tell us that we can be reasonably certain that the difference uh, between the median male weight and the median female weight back in our population of all the Kiwis that this was sampled from will lie between 0.595 kilos and 0.715 kilos. You can go on to make your various conclusions after that.